Pillar six is the block and the delivery. What do you got going on at the delivery? Everything goes from here. We keep this long. We're moving into the throw. Now, how many of you guys have been taught to throw the left arm open? Anybody? Okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay? You didn't teach him that, did you? Okay, that's okay. I forgive you. Dads have the best intentions anyway. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's what happens. If I pull, notice how I'm pulling myself off my right. If I stay long, notice the difference in how I'm maintaining torque. And if you notice again, we looked at that video of Matt. He does a real nice job. He gets to that point, his foot's here. Because this creates that. Or in the spinning case, really here. You usually have a long left, right? Ball's here, so you counter here. Discus is more like this, right? Shot is like this, counterbalance, okay? So the key is what we're gonna do in this pillar, now that we set up the elevator, we set up the counter, we go into delivery. The heel's gonna come up. That pushes the knee in. And what, notice what that do. And the real confusion that happens in the power position is that people teach right foot pivot, right? So what I'm showing you, that looks pretty normal for to what to learn. Okay, so right foot pivot. It's right foot rotation and push. That's very different than just pivoting my foot and my knee. See how my hips aren't moving? You're trying to pick up the heel and create rotation of this hip around this leg. This side comes around the left side. Does that make sense? So when we hit and we're staying down and loaded, one of the things we'll do when we throw today is we are learn to sink. When I'm sinking and turning, I'm creating that automatically. Now I can punch it. But if I just, if I don't sink, right? If I stay here, then I just rotate. My hips aren't rotating. Staying down rotates everything, okay? So the key thing on this first drill is we're gonna do, I call it a left leg, left arm stop. We stop everything here and we turn this side, picking up this heel so that you're feeling this. And one of the things we want to feel is how the left side stops here and we go out around it. Okay, that's what helps set up your block. Okay, what you guys want to do on the left leg, left arm stop is we feel this, right? We feel this. So we're opening, notice how I'm here. Now here's a key thing to understand about the, the blocking leg. The left leg is here, we rotate. We don't rotate the left. And this is why if I land with my foot here and I rotate, I'm really gonna have a bad block. Because now you're rotating and then trying to block, that's too long. You'll come, you'll, you'll totally miss it. So if I land here, I can immediately start to block and crank the right side. If I land here, I'm trying to get my hips in the position and then trying to block, and I'm always gonna be too forward and it's always gonna be too late, okay? So what we're gonna do is left leg, left arm stop. We put this down and we go here, okay? So we're just gonna feel this. Feel the arm stopping and turning this side. 